I had no reason to doubt my loving parents who raised me in the organization. Although I was an honor student, I gave up college and went to Watchtower headquarters. There I met Bill, and we shared many questions and concerns about the organization during our courtship. We questioned especially the blood issue. We ended up leaving Bethel to get married and moved to my parents' farm. We were very happy until someone reported our doubts about blood transfusion. We were both finally disfellowshipped and disowned by our families. With our inheritance lost and no job training, we started our lives over. We researched the organization and proved they were false prophets and wrong on doctrine too. We saw that we had put the organization where Christ should have been. We determined to serve Christ, not some organization, and have done so with great joy ever since. Bill is home with the Lord now, and I'm carrying on our ministry with the Lord's help. Although my family still shuns me, I pray that they may one day turn from the organization to faith in Jesus Christ. I was converted to Jehovah's Witnesses when I was 18 years old and seeking for God. I gave up earning an honors degree in university to devote myself to the organization. I'm ashamed now at the control I gave to the organization over my life. I nearly died refusing a blood transfusion. I let the elders make decisions I should have made. At an assembly in 1972, I stayed with my Christian uncle, who immediately set his church to praying for my deliverance from the Jehovah's Witnesses. As they prayed and a Christian shared his faith, I finally questioned doctrine, especially about Jesus supposedly being Michael the Archangel. I took my concerns to the elders. I found out you cannot ask honest-hearted questions nor is there any honorable way out of the organization. I left early in 1975, causing an uproar in the congregation, since Armageddon was expected in a few months. It was the best decision I ever made, other than receiving Christ as my Savior. And my husband Keith and I have served the Lord ever since. I began studying with Jehovah's Witnesses in the early 40s. Then after I came out of prison, I continued as a Jehovah's Witness until 1970. However, I had been reading forbidden Christian books. And also, I was not living the life that I should have been. And I confessed to the elders. And they dispensed with my 26 years of service in 10 minutes. I was out. But then a loving Christian friend put his arms around me and showed me the love of Christ. And I, I felt more love from him in 10 minutes than I felt from the organization in 26 years. And later, while reading a Christian book, I knew for certain that Jesus Christ is God. And I fell to my knees and received him as my savior. Well, when I was six months old, my parents became Jehovah's Witnesses, and I lived totally for the organization for 50 years. But I saw so many injustices over the years, and so much unkindness, so little mercy. You know, they present a facade of love, but people are really sacrificed for the sake of the organization. And finally, after they destroyed my family, I began to research the Watchtower organization and to read the Bible because I wanted to know if the Watchtower was God's channel and I wanted to know how to get eternal life. Well, I found out that Jesus Christ is the way and the truth and the life, not some organization. And of course, Jesus gives us eternal life. I was in my third year of college in 1973 and thinking about law school. At that time, my Jehovah's Witness parents told me that Armageddon was due by 1975. I had 18 months to live. So I quit school and went back to Jehovah's Witnesses. But as God would have it, 
some wonderful Christians showed me that I was following a false prophet. The facts were right in my own books. Now, I don't like being lied to. When I found out the watchtower had deceived me, I knew I was in a cult. But then something wonderful happened. I accepted Jesus as my Lord, and He would never lie to me. So many people have accepted the lie by reading the Watchtower. Now I have dedicated my life to showing them the rest of the story, the real story about Jehovah's Witnesses, a non-profit organization. My prayer is that Jesus will open the eyes of many Jehovah's Witnesses to see the love of Christ.